let's get started. So today we're gonna see um, what is called topic modeling, um, which basically, you know, um, given uh, text, you categorize that text into different topics. So for example, here we have a, a text, a bunch of texts, right? Maybe it's a movie review, um, you know, I go to a website that, you know, they sell um, films, movies, and I gather this text about the review, and I want to do topic modeling, meaning like I want to categorize the topic into maybe, you know, movies that are about war, movies that are about, you know, uh, you know um, uh, um, different genre, right? Um, war, it can be like about house life, it can be about, you know, all those kind of category of movies. So I want to, you know, group this, do this topic. This is what we call topic modeling. Um, so um, the reason why we bring topic modeling, uh, the topic model is brought in this chapter is that uh, topic modeling, um, we can use what is called um, the bug of word approach that we have seen to do topic modeling. So that's the reason why the topic modeling is introduced in this chapter is because we can use, um, you know, back of what approach that we have seen previously to do that. Now, there are many, um, you know, algorithms that can be used to do, um, you know, the topic modeling. Um, but one of the widely used algorithm uh, for topic modeling is called LDA, Latin Diacritic the correct allocation also, but I don't know how to pronounce this thing. So that's, you know, um, the algorithm. So uh, there are many other algorithms, but this is one of the, um, you know, most popular algorithm. Um, so, uh, you know, the algorithm basically tries to, you know, uh, use the frequently uh, appearing words, um, you know, uh, put them that, word that frequently appears together, it put them into a topic, right? So if you have, you know, if you have the, um, you know, many texts and, you know, you run the algorithm, the topic modeling, then the algorithm will try to see which words, um, you know, appears with other one most frequently, then it put them in a, you know, bucket, call them, they are in one topic. Um, so how does LDA algorithm works? Um, you know, how does LDA algorithm works? So we, for you to create LDA algorithm using Latin diacritic, um, Latin dialect allocation, is you give the algorithm bug of word matrix. You remember we created bug of word, right? we created a bag of word um, using um, scikit land before as we see. Then you give the algorithm bag of word and the algorithm will com decompose the bag of word into document to topic matrix and word to topic matrix. And from this decomposition, um, the algorithm will try to, you know, make this topic. Um, the problem with bug, um, is this algorithm LDA to create topic is that you need to give, you know, um, the number of topics you want the algorithm to create manually. So for example, given any data set and I want to create topics, I had to tell the algorithm like, hey, create topics for me, but eight topics or 10 topics. So this is one of the, you know, the hyperparameter for LDA. Right, so that is what we're gonna see today. Um, just to recap, today we're gonna see what is called topic modeling. What does it, do you mean by topic modeling? So I say, given any corpus, for example, you just go to a movie review website and grab all the um, reviews, then you wanna you know, put all these you know, reviews or text into topics. Like maybe this is a war movie, this is a you know, romance movie, this is you know, social movie, this, you know, we want to do this categorization. This is what we call topic modeling. Um, so we said there are many algorithms that can be used to do topic modeling, but LDA is one of the, um, you know, widely used um, algorithms to do topic modeling. And we said, how does topic modeling work? So topic modeling 
um, you impute um, you know, bulk of words matrix to the um, topic modeling algorithm, and from there it will create topic. And finally, we said one of the disadvantage of these, it does not automatically create topics. Um, you need uh, how many topics? You need to give it how many topics you want the algorithm to create. So that is it. So let's go and create topic modeling. But before we go there, let's recap. Um, you know, um, bug of word because um, we're gonna impute bug of word to uh, LD algorithm. So let's recap what bug of word is. So remember, uh, bug of word is a situation where we have you know we talk about we use count vectorizer to create bug of word. So here I have um, um, sentences. And now here I use npdat array, you know, to create these sentences. Now I have docs, right? Now, um, so with these, you can see, um, you know, I can use a fit transform, right? I can use fit transform, you know, to create bug of word. Remember, fit transform um, is um, we can use this, um, you know, uh, it can use. Uh, you can see method to learn the vocabulary of the thing data. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so but what I want to, I don't want to know this English. What I want to say is like fit transform is like a, uh, a shortcut to, you know, fit and transform in a single line, right? Let me see, fit transform. Uh, transform is the same as, yeah, you, it's the same as you fit and then do transformation, right? It's the same as fit transform. Remember, you can do fit in one step and you go to another step to do transformation. But this function fit transform is you do everything in a single line. Remember this one we did in the circuit line. So now, um, you know, we create this, you know, bug of word, uh, count vector either, remember that. And, you know, this is the bug of word we can call to array, I run this guy, so it can create this matrix. Remember, this is it. So but we can get, uh, we can call this from, these dogs where we, uh, you know, create this um, count vectorizer object. Can we see that? But we can call this count. We can say get frequency, uh, get future names. So this is and is one. So this means that and here, you can see we have and here, we have is here, you know. So all these, you know, yeah, this is how it created it. So we have now remember what, you know, uh, count vectorizer does. So count vectorizer, it does is that it takes Row text, you know, um, it takes our text and now convert it into matrix. And this matrix is what we feed into the LDA algorithms uh, to learn. So um, let's look at LDA. Any question before we go on? Any question? Any No question. Okay. Right. So let's go to, you know, um, do our LDA. So here I import, uh, we're going to use our data set for movie review data set. I import the data set here. And now I just, you know, DL, you know, to see the data set. Um, yeah, the same data set we have seen. So um, what are we going to do? So we remember, I just told us that we need to, you know, create, um, you know, um, uh, count vectorizer. So here you can see um, I create, um, <clears throat> I create, I, I, from scikit learn, you know, I import the class count vectorizer and I'll say count vectorizer stop words English. In, I mean, so I want to create topics, but remember, stop words, they don't consider any, they will not tell me any topic, right? Because what I want is like, you know, I want to grip word like, uh, you know, um, if I have words that uh, may be gone, um, you know, war. Um, maybe which word again that relates to war? Um, war. No. No, I'm asking to give me food. <laughs> Anyway, um, so I, I'm just trying to get whether this guy um, profile will give me some work. So anyway, um, so what I try to say is that um, you remember like uh, if um, stop word, we want to remove stop word like the, is, she, you know, all these kind of stop word because we don't want it to be in the topic. So we put count back rather. And now here we have something max is DF 0.1. So this is 0.1. We can put it like this, right? 
So maximum DF, so what this maximum DF means? So if you look at the count vector either, we have all this stuff. So if we go to maximum DF, um, when building a book cover, ignore the term that have decimal frequency strictly higher than the given threshold, right? So what we want is like, we want to take, you know, zero uh, per percent. So here we know that we set the maximum decimal frequency of what to be considered 10%, exclude what that occur too frequently across the document. So, you know, words that occurs frequently across the document, which may be stop work, we don't want to use them. So that is this. And also we use maximum futures to be 50,000 because you remember like the, this one we have, um, I think 50,000, you know, 50,000 different, um, you know, review. So if we allow us to use all the futures, all the futures, then we're going to have like, a, you know, large number of futures. We're going to create like big number of, you know, um, metrics. So we want to restrict it. So here, that's why we say maximum futures is this. Uh, in this maximum futures, we'll be able to create a topic. So that's why here, the relationship behind the removal of frequency occur is that this might be common word. So this is what I've said. And you can see here also, we limit the number to be considered with frequently occurring 500 word. Yeah, so if a word is not frequent, it means it does not belong to any topic. So for example, maybe a word is now, in, it is in particular one movie, one movie. So that word will only be, you know, be useful in that movie, in other movies or in other texts will not be used. So we remove those that, you know, uh, uh, yeah, so that is it. So you can see we limit the dimensionality. So this is something that we just, uh, you know, um, some kind of hyperparameters for the uh, creating the uh, our count vector other stuff. So we run this guy now. Um, you know, we can also uh, as we you know count vector either um, count uh, what is happening here count have my count here, count vector either, count get. Uh, what is happening here? Vocabulary not fitted or provided. Okay, let me, uh oh, 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 okay, okay, I see. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Right. Let me take this guy there. Okay, so we can see like now we create this and now we fit transform, right? We fit transform because this one is there, I took it there, um, you know, we have not fit it. That's why you can see the error what he's saying, um, vocabulary not fitted or provided. So let's run this. Yeah, so we can see like now we create this and now we fit transform. Um, we have what is called X. When we run this X, let's see what it is. Yeah, you can see it just give us like a NumPy, um, you know, uh, sparse matrix. So this is a sparse matrix, um, but we'll see how it is. So you can see here, count get future names so these are the future names in each columns but um, you know this one gave me the 30 i do subsetting so it give me the it gave me the you know uh the, from the beginning to the uh, the 30th one you can see uh because in the review in the in the text i have many numbers so it started putting you know the number the first one second one um, because you can see the, the, the first terms in the document and the metrics we created are numbers, so you can eliminate numbers. But when I said, give me the last, you know, it start from the, the last one, you can see it started giving me the last word, you know, our word. Yeah. So, or we can say like, start from the last 30. You can see I subset it, start from the last 30. So you can see this is word, you know, these are the uh, uh, our futures. Um, yeah, so, okay, I fitted this one already. 
Okay, so now we can take this to array to see. So this is a representation. So this first column, second one, third one, you know, but I just show us like here, these are the, you know, features for the matrix, um, this one. Um, remember um, what we have is that uh, for each column, we have like a future and it's represented. These are the features, but these are the representation in an array format. So now we already now created our, you know, um, count vectorizer here, which is X. You know, we have our future, uh, we have our, our matrix representation. This matrix X, that is what we will feed to our LDA algorithm. This year, I just show you like how you, um, what is happening behind the scene. So, um, yeah, so let's go on and, you know, uh, fit it into it. So here, uh, we're going to use Latin diacritic allocation from, you know, scikit-learn. So here we import it, you can see. And here we said, okay, we, these are some of the hyperparameter, number of component, random state, learner, re, learning, moisture. We said badge and we fit transform again here. So you can see here we have X topics. I call this X topic. So when we run this, um, yeah, remember, so here, because you can see we have many, you know, uh, tweets. Um, we have many reviews, like 50,000. This takes a lot of time to run. Um, uh, you can see it takes five to 10 minutes, uh, five minutes or more on your standard computer. So this is, uh, you know, it takes a lot of time. Um, yeah, but the idea is like, uh, you know, there is this idea we discussed yesterday, which is online and, you know, learning where you don't have enough memory to do that. So here we said like badge, if you wanna do that, you can see online the method. So yeah, that is it. Um, yeah, so you can see here, we train here X topic. Um, and this is the LDA, right? The object we created, um, we create LDA now here and fix it. Um, so here we can see like how many topics we have. So here you can see, uh, we said 10. So number of topics we want is 10 topics. L number N component means number of topic I want to create. So here I say 10. So you can see here LDA components, the shop here, it gave me 10 component, uh, 10 topics. So it takes all the data and create 10 topics. And remember, this is how many uh, uh, stuff we have. We have only here 5,000. So um, yeah, so here you can see after fitting the LDA, we now have access to the component attribute of the LDA instance, which to a matrix containing the word importance. Can you see that word important for each of 10 topics? So for each of the 10 topics, it's still 5,000 word. Yeah, for each of the topic, we have 5,000 word. It's still uh, 5,000 word for each topic. So if, for example, if it categorize one topic as a war, then we have 5,000 words that it put them in that topic. Now, let's look at now, um, you know, okay, still this is work, uh, running, but I already fitted in, in my computer uh, since. So let's look at what happened now. So to analyze the result, let's bring the five most important words for each of the 10 topics. So you see now here, we fit it. Now here, this is an X topics. Now this is content 10 topics, uh, as you see. So let's like now look at the, bring the five most important words for each of the 10 topics. So for each of the 10 topic, let's look at the, you know, five most important one in that. So this is what it is. So number of top words, I said five, you know, um, future names here. I, you know, I can, I take the future name that I show you previously. I, I put this in something future names. And now this, you know, uh, you can see LDA component. So here uh, you can see, I have my LDA. This is the, uh, this, this is the uh, object that I fit. So I said, give me the LDA, the component. So for topic and topic in this and running this, it allow us to, you know, this code to give us topics, um, you know, for up to five. So um, you can see here, this is printing topic and topic X. Can you see that? Um, so um, because here it, it will be incremental, right? For example, the first one is zero, um, you know, topic one one and you know we have topic two topic three and now here is joining the future names and giving us all the you know uh, what so you can see the topic one will give us worst minutes awful script stupid right about one movie these are some of the top word that in this topic in topic two 
family, mother, father. So who can guess what is the, or which kind of movies are number one and number two? And number three, American war, topic four, human audience, topic five, police, guy, dead, murder, topic six, you know, um, horror, house, sex, gay, woman, you can see. So you can see this model um, was able to put different words, cut, you know, put words into particular topics. Um, who can guess, uh, give us like, a, uh, tell us, um, among these kind of words, how can you guess which topic, which topic this belongs to? For example, number one and two, who can suggest? Or anyone, or anyone. What kind of movies are these two topics? That two is romance. Which one? Two. Is what? Romance. Okay. Who else again? Who can also? Who again? Who, who can tell us um, topic here? Okay, so um, and three three is action. Action? Uh, yeah, three. I think is action or war. Okay, but uh, what about topic ten? Action, fight. Um, what about this book version, original read novel? Okay, so let's look at it. So you can see based on the reading the five most important topic we may guess we may guess you can see it's guessing because given words in that topic you can suggest which topic is that based on what here we just have five words you can change it to maybe 10 so that you will have more words to make more decisions so you can see here the first one we say worst awful stupid so here generally bad movie can you see maybe we can say this is a mod movie because the data set is about movies. So if we have movie topic, we have worst, awful, we can say this is a bad movie. Number two, movie about families. Family, mother, father, children, girl. So we can say this is movie about families because there are movies about family. Topic three, war movie. We have America. We know America, they are, we have war, right? Topic four, human audience cinema. It's about art movie, crime movie. Number five, police. Die, car, dead, murder, any murder in a film. So we can say this is a crime movie. Number six, horror, how sex, girl, woman. So this uh, horror movie. Seven, role, performance, comedy, actor, performance. So the guest is a comedian. Um, number eight, series, episode, war, episode TV. We guess this is like movie, somehow related to TV shows. Number nine, book version, original, read novel, movie based on books. Number 10, action, flight, guy, action, movie. So this is, yes, this is, yeah. So you see like, this is something like that is quite useful for anybody that is in the domain. So if you wanna categorize that data, if it is your domain, um, you'll be able to tell us which topic is that by seeing some frequent words, like 10 top words, you can say this is this. So that is, um, that is it. Um, so here, as I said, to confirm that the category makes sense based on the review, let's find uh, five movies from the horror movie. So they said, okay, you know, uh, topic three is, um, which one is horror? Uh, six, right? So you can see six. So let's print horror uh, movie topic six. So here we say horror, five, this mean five mean because you can see uh, the horror is six, but uh, uh, counting start from one, zero, right? So five means six one. So here we printed, you know, print eight. Here we have, you know, horror movies. So we can see like, um, you can see monster, right? You can see this kind of word. Um, now what about this one, number three? Um, anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, so this is basically what topic model it is. Um, any question? Any question? <coughs> right. No question, no question. Okay. So um, it's, um, about topic modeling, that's um, the end part of the chapter. And now we, um, you know, <clears throat> um, I will show us like um, 
um, how we can use topic modeling, um, you know, maybe, uh, no, maybe I think, but I will just show you for curiosity. Now, before I show you, um, using deep learning, maybe to do topic modeling. Um, uh, next chapter is predicting continuous target um, with regressions and analysis. And, you know, chapter nine, uh, chapter 10, we uh, do clustering. And from chapter 11, we start doing deep learning neural network. I'm really excited for us to start doing. So if you have been meaning to learn, uh, you know, neural network, you know, this chapter will take us from the beginning, you know, simply we will learn PyTorch, you know, and all this stuff. Now, um, let me share my screen again. Um, yeah. Uh, um, 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 okay, so, um, right, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Mm. Okay. Uh, can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So, um, I think maybe I intended to go through this, but um, we have not discussed deep learning such as BART. But now there is something you can check it out if you're interested. Um, using what is called BART topic, BART topic. So we have. Uh, you, you may not know what is called BART. But BAT is what we call um, a language model that can be, you know, uh, um, that can be used, you know, uh, to create, you know, topics. Um, I mean, to do language modeling. There are a lot of uh, stuff with this. So BAT topic, let me show you an example. So we have like topic modeling with BAT. So you can use topic modeling with BAT, um, um, you know, and achieve a state of the art performance, meaning it will have better performance than, you know, um, the one maybe possibly that we create because this is a state of the art language model. So maybe when we uh, start doing neural network, uh, we will come and do this. Um, so, uh, for example, here you can see you can uh, use topic modeling uh, with that. You can group what, for example, look at it here, the visualized topics, baseball, you know, top game, you can see topic one key increasing topic two derive dives you know topic three uh topic four topic five religion atheist you know good so if you want to try this um we can you can click here um they have um predefined you know uh you know tutorial um you know that you can walk through uh which is basically everything you know so for example you need to install the uh you know the you need to connect your gpu here come here and say connect. Right, so you need to install the bad topic, which I've already shown you, which is the, you know, the stuff. When you install it, um, here the download um, a data, uh, um, that you're going to use for news group and you know um, now they import the uh, bad topic and you, the um, you know create an object bad topic which language is you're going to do the topic modeling is english calculate the whatsoever and you can see here now topic modeling fit transform so here you remember fit transform you have just seen so here they have topic modeling topic models which is this object fit transform and now put the docs what is the doc the what you want to fit so you can see here, this is a news group data, which is called docs. Um, you can fit it. So um, uh, when you fit it here, um, yeah. So here the, you know, topic model, get topics and now frequency head. So you can see we assign the topic model, uh, uh, get the topics assigned to frequency object. But here, can you see we do this? Uh, it means um, it divide, uh, we can run multiple instruction in the same, uh, you know, cell. So frequency, this object that we assign the topic that head means give me top five. We can see like these are the topics. So we have topic minus one, zero, one, two, three. 
Um, so minus one here refers to um, you know all outliers, um, something that they don't belong to topics. So maybe also remember what I showed um, you know for removing stop word. So maybe stop word can be uh, in this and other stuff. Now they want to create. Okay, they say let me see what is in topic zero here. Can we see this? Um, you know topic zero. Select the most frequent topic. You know. Um, so here you can see topic model that we just create. Um, topic model. Can you see that? And now get topics. What are the topics in this um, of zero? The one, the first one. Can we see topic? Topic zero. What are the? So you can see words in this topic: uh, Jesus, Bible, faith, Jehovah. So um, somebody can uh, go directly and say, you know. This is the name. So you can see this is the topic they give it, Jesus Bible. One good thing with this one is like, you don't need to give it like, you know, the name, um, you know, it gives you automatically the name, right? Because in the one we saw previously um, that I showed you, you need to, it doesn't give you like the name of the topic, but this one even try to guess the name of the topic. So they, this, top, this topic is called Jesus Bible faith, um, you know, because it just uh, attach the names of the, the top appearance because of their top probability. You can see that Jesus Bible faith, Chris. So the one, two, three, four, it takes maybe the top four um, like that. You can see the one, two, three, four. So from there, somebody can just see in this topic. We say that this topic is about, you know, um, you know, whether Christianity or whether, um, you know, their book, book uh, their uh, bi uh, Bible. So you can see this is more interesting. Um, so this is something um, you can also do visualization with that. So uh, you can do visualization, you know, we can do that, um, you know, in this topic, what are the words, you know, what are the words, you know. Um, but we can also topic probabilities, you know, um, topic probability, like, you know, this topic, what is the probability in this topic? You can see it's very high probability, right? Um, so that um, confirm, we can say that this topic is truly, truly about, you know, uh, about, um, you know, uh, Bible, because like the probability that this topic is this is higher. And you can also, you know, do top, uh, visualize topic hierarchy, you know, and also you can, you know, visualize the terms. So you can call this topic modulum, visualize Bacha topic, topic and topic um, five. So you want to uh, get top five topics and, you know, um, you see uh, what we saw, this is the topics, right? Uh, where are these? Uh, the topic, you can see topic one, zero, one, two, three, four, you know. So here we can say, give us uh, visualize this, um, you know, visualize. So here we say that top five, so one, two, three, four, five. And we can see the topic zero is about Jesus. Topic one is about space, spacecraft. Topic three is about baseball, pitch, cups, you know, topic four. So that's, you know, about what is called bad topic. Um, what I want you to do is as a form of practice is use this for our movie review data set to create these topics. But uh, what you should do is, um, um, yeah, so this is just like, um, as, I mean, I don't want to uh, uh, run it. Um, if you have any issue, you can, you know, um, contact me and uh, uh, we can work it out. Um, yeah. But before you do, yeah, something like that. Any question? Any question? Right. So um, I think if there is no question, um, we uh, come to the end of today's session. Um, yeah, um, inshallah, next week, we will start our new chapter, chapter nine, predict is in, uh, you know, uh, regression stuff. Yeah, anyone with question, um, yeah, please ask now. All right, so um, if there's no question. Yeah, there's question. Okay, go on, Palalu. Yes, go on, Palalu. Okay, um, who can um, volunteer to do practicing of topic model with BART that I've just shown? 
who can volunteer to do practicing practice it and show us to, next week before we start our sessions to show us like um he does this with the movie review data set Um, Shamsuddin, you wanna you wanna volunteer? Volunteer. I will volunteer. I will volunteer to do it. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Um, who is volunteer? Muhammad Muhammad Hamza. Yes, sir. Okay. So, um, I will share the GitHub link. So, um, you um, you let me share it. There are a lot of other things that you may find you need to yeah. 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 Yes, yes, good. So um I will share this. Let me share the GitHub repository so that you can practice by topic. Doctor, if there are other examples, I will try as, as well. Right, so um, let me share the screen again um, because I know that it's gonna be like uh, some challenge, uh, some stuff along the way. So if the um, only person that tried it, you know, so you can see, can you see that this is the link? I shared the link in the chat. So you can see, um, uh, uh, yeah, so maybe somebody can try this dynamic topic model with Trump tweets. Can you see the, um, you know, with tweet for Trump? So let's look at it. So what they try here in this tutorial, we'll be using dynamic topic model with bad topic to visualize how topics in Trump tweet have evolved over time. So what this means is dynamic topic modeling. What is, when we say dynamic, for example, we wanna find pattern, how tweet for somebody. So for example, um, you know, in, we can, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, use topic modeling to, you know, find how tweet regarding President Buhari opinion changes, for example, from 2015, uh, before he goes into you know, elections, and now that he's into the government, people don't like him. So we may try to collect tweets from, you know, that are saying Buhari from 2015 up to now, and now try to visualize what are the topics that are talking about President Buhari. So this is what we call dynamic you know topic modeling you know um you know you want to top uh, model the topics based on time so this is they do it for trumps so more or less I, i've said so what when you do install here they said before you continue you need to restart the you know uh, the uh, canal because there is some issue and now he has a load the data set so this is the data set for uh, uh for uh for trump for tweet but you can load the data set maybe in, you know, for President Buhari. Um, if anybody wants to do that, I can, you know, get data set from 2015 to, you know, this, I can give you the data. Now you can see dynamic modeling. So import bad topic. So uh, bad topic. So you can see a minimum of size that uh, they created here. And now topic model fit transform. So you can see here the, you know, um, you know the same thing here, um, uh, the topics we created this. And you can see here we have frequency, just like the other one. We can see the top ten, you know, um, run for president, run president Trump, crowd Carolina was over, entrepreneur, China treaty. You can see about the topics. So about the uh, Trump's tweet, um, you know, the first one is run for president because he want to run for president. We all know. You know uh, I don't know what is this crowd Carolina joint thing. I don't know what this is because I'm not from America. But China traffic mate. We all know this about China topic between Trump and, you know, China. Yes, uh, uh, that, uh, yeah, so. Maybe so, I will try for that of bad. Yes. So that we will try yeah. to. Yes, yeah, so you can see here, um, you know, they see the topic. So that, yeah, so topic four, you can see topic topic model, get topic four. So you can see what other word, China, tariff, trade, China, farmers, you know. You know that at that time of uh, trade war between China Paris, and yes, America. Yes. You yes. know, America, uh, China retaliate by mm -hmm. by putting more tax on soybeans, yeah. which affects okay. the American farmers. Mm. Right. 
So you can see here by topic modeling figure, do you want to visualize fig here? We visualize it. You can see which topic has more stuff. So we can see uh, topic eight. Oh, topic four. Oh, which one is this? Topic 10, you know? Yeah. So you can look at the topics, you know, this is, you know, um, topics over time. So here they want to see how the topics over time, you know, uh, goes. So we can see here before we start with dynamic topic. So this is the normal topic modeling that we just showed previously in the previous, you know, but now they will do the dynamic topic modeling. So here um, you see, um, um, so somebody like if, uh, maybe I would suggest somebody like if you are using um, your MSc thesis, somebody can say, I just want to do dynamic topic modeling of President Buhari and just do this, you have code that you can see, um, you know, and just, <laughs> you know, um, this is something, you know, um, uh, cool. So let's look at it. So topics over time. So um, let's see what they said. Before you study, it is important you are satisfied with the topics that were created previously. We are going to be using those specific topics as base for dynamic tabling. Yeah. So um, there are a few important parameters to take note. Docs, the uh, tweet, you know, timestamp global whatsoever you can read it. So um, they have topic model that we already, then they have what is called topics over time. So this is, you know, um, you know uh, the thing that you can use to create the topic over time. So docs, which you give the tweets, your tweets that you have, can you see that? Timestamp. Um, so because you remember like when you, crawl, when you have tweets, each tweet has the time that has been, each tweet has a time that has been, um, uh, um, that has been, uh, you know, uh, um, posted. So this top uh, timestamp is telling you about, you know, the topic modeling stuff. So um, evolution, uh, global tuning to do whatsoever, number of bins 20, something like that. Um, if you read, you can see that. Now you can topics over time. So visualize topic over time here. Um, you can see it. Um, so here you can see run for president uh, Trump. So this is something, you know, in 2012, you can see it is going, you know, in 2016, it dropped because after 2016, he, you know, um, he was president. So there is no, you know, topic for present topic. So this is the high, I think the topic goes into uh, present in 2015 or something like that. Um, so we can see like, um, you know, uh, which, you know, uh, so yeah. So basically these topics, they have the time they have been, you know, do so. So this is topic over time. Um, yeah, so um, we can also, um, you know, this is something really cool. That's one, you know, if you want to get your hands dirty to practice and, you know, uh, oh God. Um, we have another um, embedded models, you know, advanced topic model, embedded topic, advanced, okay, dynamic topic model, modeling, topic modeling of uh, archive abstract. So what these are doing is they are doing topic modeling of archive abstract what is archive abstract papers in archive pre, 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 uh, not not preprint papers yes preprint papers so we have archive here if you go to archive here this uh it's a website with uh, you know uh papers which are preprint you can see that this is where people publish paper so what they do here is they take the topics um you know this is in cargo so they take all the abstracts and do topic modeling. So look at it. So somebody now come volunteer and take this one. Uh, uh, yeah, so you can see like they take it and do topic modeling uh, as we are doing topic model, uh, bad topic, you know, uh, embedding model, parapress whatsoever, you know. So you can learn a lot. So you can see topic word score, you know, yeah. Um, based on the abstract, topic zero, Electron, you can say these are papers from maybe chemistry, graphing, algebra, um, holes, how can gravity, physics, cosmology, you can, where else? Learning, segmentation, you can see these are papers about deep learning. Can you see that topic, sis? 3D classification, segmentation, learning. Matter, this may be about physics, I think, or something like that. So wireless channel network, these are papers about maybe wireless network or networking because MIMO channel. So um, yeah, so this is, uh, you know, um, term score decline per topic, how the topics are going on, like which topic is increasing, which topics is decreasing, term score decline per topic, you know. Um, yeah, similarity index, you know, 
topics over time, they do it topics over time as well. Topic 